Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Skyrim, and say hello to my beautiful face. It is so nice, hidden behind this grotesque thing, and Lydia's face is hidden behind my oven grill. That's pretty much what it looks like. Um, oven grill with boobies. Anyways, uh, we are going to go on a very special adventure because it is one I have put off for way too long for this character. There is, um, there it goes kind of blacked out there for a minute um there is an amazing quest that we need to do for this guy because i did it once long ago when i played skyrim once before and it was awesome and it gave me an awesome weapon and that is what we need and we will get pardon me i had to drink some water there and that is what we will get because you will see how awesome it is hopefully it's awesome if it's not i'm gonna cry a little bit at my failure of remembering. Oh, oh. I feel weaker as the sun rises. No. No. My vampirism. Oh no. How long will it last? How long will it last? Um. I guess we'll just feel weaker because we're not really a vampire and I hope the sun doesn't like destroy us. That'd be bad. Constellation. Pretty. Another one. Another one. Oh, they're all so beautiful. I didn't notice these things before. I turned up my graphics. That's awesome. We actually will not need our horse for the moment. Yeah. Took us a whole whopping ten feet. You. you I'd like to hire your carriage. I want to go to Markarth. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to Markarth. It's a town you have yet to have seen. A town you have yet to see. It's a gorgeous town. If I say so myself. I remember doing a quest once where... Well... I'll try not to spoil anything, because we might do it with this guy if we find the quest. Um, you wake up in Markoth one day for one specific reason or another. And your adventure goes on from there with that quest. And it is very cool, very interesting. Um, but we will leave that for another time because it will be awesome. Um... But with this that we are just about to do, which I have a predisposition of knowledge of where it shall begin. We will do it and only it, hopefully, and not be bothered by any other crazy stuff. It's a weird looking shield. It's like, come at me, bro. Um, but anyway, we will do this and specifically this quest because I want the mace that you get from it. It is awesome. Masonness of macy maced masonry. In the case we get ambushed by rapists, we can spray them with it. I am kidding. That was a terrible, terrible analogy. Do not listen to me. It's bad and a half. The loading is intense because we have never been here on this computer or s character or something rather. <laughs> Uh-oh, something's going down. Something's going down. I'd die for my By the divines, the Forsworn are here in the city. Everyone stay back. The Markarth city guard have this all under control. There are no Forsworn here. He was after Margaret. Why? to get rid of Stuff's going down. I'm gonna steal your stuff. Yoink! Margaret, why? Yoink, yoink! Well, that was unusual. Gods. Ah. Attacked right on the streets. Yes, she was. Did you see what happened? Of course I did. I must have missed it. Sorry. Sorry to me. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Looks important. Mm-hmm. No. I was just getting some fresh air. Had one too many pints of mead at the Silver Blood Inn. Uh huh. Uh huh. 
my note. No, that's yours. Must have fallen out of your pocket. Uh huh. All right then. Whatever you say, Mister. Meet me at the Shrine of Talos. Bum bum bum. Forsworn conspiracy, eh? Where's the Shrine of Talos? Is it up here? Is that where you're going up here? Where's the Shrine? Here? No. Up here? Up here? All the way up here? No. Oh wow, that requires a key. I wonder what the heck's in there. Anyway, you can tell this is a very big and kind of beautiful city with the waterfalls coming down and everything. Kind of makes me think of like Rivendell from like Lord of the Rings or some such. But with a mainly stone architectural form. Obviously dwarf-like. Um, bottom floor, please. Oh. But, but I want to go in there. That's where I'm going. It's seven in the evening. But, but, all my planning's been ruined. No! Treasury house. Sounds fun. Um... Lydia, help. This is where I want to go. But, I believe in order to do so... Someone has to be here. And I don't know what it is exactly I have to do to get them to show up. Midnight? No? Just wasting time, probably. As if time has a penalty in this game. <laughs> I don't think so. Bright and early in the morning. Ah! Ah, ah, ah! Sunlight! What the heck? I'm in the sunlight. And nothing's happening. Okay. Sunlight? Hello? Apparently sunlight's not that deadly. Um, so my vampiric power's awakened. Weakness to fire. Ooh. Ooh, it just makes me weak to sunlight. Ew, that's not good. That's not good at all. Lucian spells cast by vampire are 25% more powerful. That's kind of cool. Um, hard to detect while sneaking, if I were sneaky. I resist all disease. I resist frost. It's even better. And I resist poison. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is already worth it. I like being a vampire. Do I have a, do I have a vampire skill? No? Like werewolf? I think that I do get one. It's just that it might only be available at nighttime or something. Can I like rest a little bit longer? See if he pops up? No? No? Must have been a chain of events I do in Markarth to get him to pop up. Whatever. I'll figure that out some other time. I'm a vampire, guys! Ah, it burns! It burns! Not really, but apparently. <laughs> Watch me go outside and poof, flame. That'd be bad. That'd be really bad. Um, so I'm more vulnerable to fire. But that's not a big deal to me, because I'm extremely resistant to magic anyway. Hmm. Well, all that did was just conflagrate my vampirism. Huh, huh, huh. Exacerbate, if you will. Hey guys, how's it, how's it going in the sunlight? Hmm. Isn't it awesome? Need a trained war dog? Fiercest companion money can buy. <laughs> no thanks. Is it you? No, you're a different dog. You are 
extremely good at camouflage. Look at this amazing camouflaging dog. How are the new breeds getting along with my dog? Da -da. Through the gone. Boop, there he is. Camouflaged. Ay, uh, yeah, yeah, texture details. Anyways, we're a vampire. Isn't that fun? Um, screw you, Markoth. And that shrine of Talos. We're going back to our house. That's right. We're going home. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on that troll again. Ride that troll. Yeehaw! That'd be fun. Riding a troll. They do regenerate health when they're wounded. Very like a troll. Why is it that all trolls in... Ah, excuse me. Ah, no. No, no. Um, why is it that almost all trolls in every lore of history and gaming and things regenerate health? Why? And, like, regenerate limbs and stuff. I'll take that thorax. Thank you. Why? Just why? Okay, so... Oh. Uh. Oh, really? That's kind of cool. Glad I've got those. This is a better menu. Not used to it completely, but it's a much better menu. I like that. Vampiric train? I'll take that. It's cool. Did I get that from being in a vampire? Did I get that from being a vampire too? Um. Okay. Why do I have that favorite too? Get that off there. Yeah, I'll get that off there too. There's no point in having it. That's kind of awesome. So. Maybe now instead of healing. Do vampire strain. Number six for my sight. Oh, it's a power. Wow. Run, foolish moose. That's pretty nice, actually. <laughs> That's much better than our, um... Mage Light. Which I am replacing. Thank you very much. Um, candlelight. Goodbye, candlelight. Alright. That's pretty cool. Uh -huh. Oh, they got number six. Oh, it's a power power. That's pretty nice. So it drains with an actual cat. Probably like destruction or something. This is pretty cool. This is really cool. So I'll just save that. It's like darkness. Lit like it's daylight. Nice. So that will allow me to go traveling around in the dark. Sweet. So about that house. Quarried stone. I need to find out about that. Apparently, I need to figure out about that quite a bit for everything. Welcome home, Lydia. Welcome home. Ah, empty little home. Sad, but true. Um, let's deposit more stuff in this thing. Let's put some everything. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> So let's just go right here and go. And I was just singing that song. I don't know. Let's deposit those. That. Let's get all these in here anyway. Let's just deposit everything into here. And if we ever want to craft something, remind ourselves to come in here and grab things. How does that sound? Sounds great to me. Yeah, I'll even put the gems in there. Nope, can't remove them. Okay, apparently. Um, let's 
good to me. Shing. This sucks about the mace thing. I gotta figure out how to activate that one. Because it's a really cool thing. Vampire vision in the snow. At least I can get clay easily. Does that mean I can find some quarried stone? Around here? I mean, it's possible. But it doesn't really look like it. Is that, is that a, a hawk? Let's get my or not force. Nope, did nothing. <laughs> if anything, it helped it fly better. Um, what's this by our house? Did we pick a terrible location? Here we go. We picked a terrible location. No conjurer, I'm a vampire. I'm gonna drain life out of you. Just because I can. Mmm, familiar. Tasty stuff. Tasty stuff. Mm -mm. Tastes like blood. I'll just drain your life while I chop your head off. Mm mm mm. Aw. Oh, I couldn't reanimate it because it's a headless corpse. Or, yeah, it is. It's just really weird looking. <laughs> that was terrible placement. Great! My home's next to an in psychotic campsite. Okay. Oh, Lydia, what have we done? <laughs> I guess it's okay. We'll just use this as our dinner table. <laughs> Let me clear the table. Dinner is served. Mmm, delicious. What? What's going on? Why is there so much stuff suddenly? Why is there... Wow. Okay, apparently I made enough noise to attract the entire woodland area. Okay. I was gonna say, anyone else wants some? But apparently this wolf does. And that spell sucks. There it goes. Good spell. Good spell. That was interesting. I saw fishermen pop up. That was kind of weird. It's like, really? Hello, I can't see anything, but I think it's cold. <laughs> okay, then. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's really pretty. With little rippling water and snow and the fog. Little birds silently chirping in the frigid cold. Welcome home, vampire. Hey, there's some felled logs. Can I take these home with me? I was looking for quarried stone, but... I don't think I can get it here. I think I might have to purchase it or something. It's more than likely the thing that I'll have to do. Looks like a troll cave. There's a random chest. My home is full of strange things. It's like, welcome to your backyard. Corpses? Necromancers? These all come standard with your brand new home that you just purchased from Conglomo. If you can find the reference to that one, I'd give you a dollar. If it's too late, I'm going to tell you anyway, it was Rocco's Modern Life. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, now we're getting wanderlusted, so let's not go and explore random little things by foot. If we're going to explore, we gotta do it by horse. It's a nice view from this side, though. It's like, oh, look, there's a house up here. What is it? Oh, it's mine. It was so cool. Maybe if we went up this mountainside, we might find quote-unquote quarried stone, or quarryable stone, maybe. I highly doubt it. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, there it is. Stone quarry. hoo -ah. Get some. Figured it out. 
Oh yeah, who's a pro? We got all of it that we need now, boy. Hoorah! <laughs> I'll do it again. Hoorah! <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Now we're loaded with it, so now we can just pile it all up and build what we want and need. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be nice. Um, let's see. So pretty much the only things that we wouldn't be able to get because we can get stone and clay uh, is wood, but we can purchase that for 200 gold for 20, so that's not bad. Um, everything else is like iron, corundum, and such, which we can get venturing around and finding, um, and visiting and revisiting mines. So, let's check this out. Nice. Let's make the main hall foundation. 20 nails. I think I've got some nails, but I don't think I've got that many nails. Let me check inside here real quick. So we can get our main hall figured out. Filter. Nails. Take. Yeah. Oh, that is so nice to have that filtering ability. So it's like just going to be my mystery grab bag of everything. I just search for whatever I need. And I'm pretty sure I'm short on nails. Yeah, I need seven more or so. Hey, let's head into town. Falkreath. Yes. I honestly don't think I've got any iron, but I could probably buy some. As long as my like my vampirism doesn't like become full blown and like instantly kill me in the sunlight. That'd be really bad. That'd be really, really bad. It's like if I'd fast travel then I'd out of nowhere just be like, boom, you're dead. <laughs> That'd be terrible. Especially if it, like, auto-saves and that was my only save for, like, a year. That would be really bad. I would not like that at all. So, hop on off a hossa here. This helmet, oh man, it is just, ah, uh, yes. Um, I don't think I've got iron. I don't even know if I've got iron ore. Um... In the morning, let's wait for four hours. This guy should be here. That should be burning in the sun, like, yeah, it hurts. It boils. Hi, lad. Take a look. My skin's what? What'd you say? I didn't pay attention. I'm too busy feasting on your blood. Anyway, I'm gonna buy some stuff from you, buddy. I'm gonna take 13 iron. How's that sound? That sounds great. All right. Okay. So. Deal's good, but loyalty's better. I'm loyal to Dengir first, and the Empire second. Yeah. Anyway, it's done. Time to move on. <laughs> much obliged. Fail. Here. It's not much, but take it anyway. Ah, oh, oh, cool. I got 25 gold for Only talking to him. Fantastic. I was Dengir's personal guard for years. I risked my hide more than once to protect him. Why would I do that? For money? Because I swore an oath? No. It was because he was a good man and a true friend. A true oh. lord places loyalty and honor above all else. Oh, I think that nice. But steel's worth every septum. Remember that. Ooh, look at that water. It's shiny. Anyway, um, let's go make some nails. Okay. I'll make a little bit of extra nails. And let's get on back to our house, shall we? Make few manor. Ah, uh, yes. That thing looks kind of weird with those eyes. Mm -hmm. So it's not very strong, but it's speedy and mobile. Fascinating. I hope to fight one one day. And destroy it. Yes. Anyways, let us get our main hall. Almost completely constructed. There's a the wall framing. I need more nails and some clay. Second floor supports for some. Oh. Need a lot more nails. And some more logs. Nails, logs, and clay. Okay. Oh man, it's coming along. Ooh boy, it's coming along. It's coming. It's coming. 
Let's get some clay. I wish I could spin my camera around while I'm mining. Oh, it's the most annoying thing in the world. I should find a mod for that. It's going to be nice to enjoy my surroundings while I'm picking at something monotonously for days on end as Lydia just bobs her head. Bobs her head. Yeah, bobs her head. Bobs her head. Yeah, yeah. Uh, pick it now. It's clay bash. Yo, yo, check it. Yeah, uh-huh, whatever. Anyways, uh, one more clay. Come on. There we go. Okay, let's stop that now. Let's go back again. To Falkreath again. Maybe I should just figure out what I need to make a smelter of my own and a workshop of my own. Or no, I have to have the armorers. And I think that's got to come off of the main hall, which I'm working on building. Yeah, they should have been able to make that all, like, base things, because then you wouldn't have to travel, like, all over the place. Ooh. Grow as I hunger. What's going on now? Nice. So I can seduce people now. Cool. Cool. I won't even use that anymore anyway. I won't even use that. I've got my vampire stuff. I have a feeling that healing might just harm me later on as a vampire. Clear up my favorites a little bit. Make it a little better. I should be using that, but I don't really need to improve my smithings from this stuff. It's very cool. Huh. Make that four. I'll make seduction five. Nice. Let's see if I can make a shortcut around the back. Kind of. Yep. Not really. Probably better just to hop on my horse and go straight to the town. Alright, I need nails. Get off of it. I need it. Thank you. I need a lot of nails. I'm gonna make nails. Yes. Nails. Yes. 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 Thank you. It's probably enough for now. Hopefully. And I need to go get wood. To the Half Moon Mill, which is very nearby. Vampire that is using vampire seduction power can feed on any person that is not in combat, even if they are awake. Feeding reduces sun damage. It also reduces your vampire powers. Really? Hmm. That's good information to know. So it seems like if I don't feed, I'll get more powers, but sunlight becomes a huge issue. Hmm. I'll need to be wary of my vampiric prowess. Sup, lady with the crazy eyes and the crazy face and the crazy chicken fetish? What work. you up to? Get an axe and bring me over. A guest? Kay. Doing some building, eh? We could. I'll have Kay. them hold over right away. Doing some Kay. building, eh? I'd like more lumber. I'll have them hold over right away. I'd probably like more Doing lumber. Building, eh? I'll have them hold over oh right yeah, away. and um, I'd probably Doing like building, more lumber. Eh? Thanks, right crazy away. lady. See you later. Hup. On to my horse. Hup. Fast travel. Hup. To the manor. Hup. That's how it goes. Each expense is vampire without feeding increases your power, slot, reduces, or even eliminates your ability to regenerate health, magic, or stamina. Feed on a sleeping victim or so on you under your subjection spell to reduce sun damage. Hmm. But I like to increase my powers. Whoa. That was weird. The camera. I thought I was crouching, but the camera was just in the ground a little bit. Oh, I can't even regenerate my stamina. It's like once you run all the way you can in the sunlight, you're screwed unless if you're feeding. That kind of sucks. Just a little bit. Oh well. Let's just build something. House. First walls. Second walls. Roof. Boop. Yay! Ooh, we can even get a cellar. Look, it's our home! Holy crap, it's huge! Screw you, Breeze Home! <laughs> Never going to that place. Breeze Home might be my summer home. Mm, yes, because mm -hmm. I'm so wealthy and I've got so much time and money. I could build myself a mansion. It's not even that much work or money to make a home, really. It's just like, just sit here and do this for a while and you're good. 
Although I do want to figure out how to get a servant and have them do all the work for me. It'd be really nice. Because they could, like... I wonder, if, I wonder if they'd, like, harvest my plants and plant new ones and cook things and hang things up and, like, do actual work. It'd be really cool. Instead of just be like, oh, I did things in town for you, here's some gold. Oh, today I did some things out in the woods, here's some gold. Or, oh, I slain a dragon, here's some gold. Instead of, here, have some dragon skin. Or here, have its bones and corpse so you can absorb it because you're a Dovahkiin dragon man. Whatever the heck. Yeah. 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 Let's, yeah. I can't even sprint during the daytime. This is sad. Cellar. I'll take it. Ah, oh, I can make a smelter. I would like a smelter. I could get all these. I need straw. I need iron fittings. Let's go in, shall we? Into the Lakeview Manor. It's, um... Oh, yeah. I do have iron fittings. I'm glad I thought about that. And I've got a lot of iron, too. Which I didn't need to purchase because I'm stupid and I didn't quite think about that. Derp, 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 derp. See, that's where the filtering in the gigantic box and throwing everything into it comes into failure. Hey, look. Oh, they're growing. They're growing. That's awesome. In the snow, they're growing. Doesn't make sense, but sure, why not? I need more iron fittings for that. I'll get a grindstone. Just so I can have it. Yay, look at that. Grind, grind, grind. And an armorer's workbench. Oh, that would be nice. Corundum. Yes, please. I need three corundum. Do I have corundum? Let's look at my chest, shall we? I wonder if that chest outside works too. I'd rather keep my stuff in the inside. Just for safe keepings. Nope, no corundum. That's fine. Let's go look inside our... Oh, it's all one giant piece place. Giant empty spot. Fireplace right there. I see it coming. Furniture this way. Furniture that way. Yeah, yeah. Carpet area. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, upstairs, just decorations around here. Um, some sort of trophy room. Something. Maybe bed here for the time being. No, no. Bed in here. <gasps> My cellar. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is really... Lydia, we need to torch this place up. This is creepy. And shiny, apparently. Ah, oh, that's better, huh? I can see much nicer now. It's kind of plain and creepy. What? What is it with the cold frame here? It's rather weird. Anyway. It's funny I knew what that was, though. Ah, uh, home sweet blank bear and... Dull home. See you, Lydia. <laughs> <gasps> she opens doors. Better close it. No, oh, it didn't work like I wanted it to. <laughs> She's such a good girl. She takes so many beatings. <laughs> Anyways, this is a lot of fun. I like having a house and building it and everything. This can take quite a lot of time. This is, this is just huge. This is awesome. What's it look like over here? A house. Uh, what does it look like over here? Uh, a house. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and I got an animal pin. I don't even know what to do with it. I don't even know what to do here. I'm just way ahead of myself with everything. It's awesome. I love it. And I'm vampires and stuff. I swear I get a vampire skill tree. I swear I do. Maybe I don't. Thought I do. I should look into it more. But yeah, this is cool. This is very cool. 
Got a weakness to fire. Apparently it is night time. We are regenerating. Hooray! Awesome. And what else can we do? Apiary and a smelter. Yeah. Probably get those eventually. But now, with the drafting table, we can look into... Oh yes! All the additions. Oh, that's so you can remove the workbench if you don't want it sitting there and looking stupid. Mm -hmm. Remodel house into entryway. Yes, let's make that an entryway. Unless if I'm turning the house back into an entryway. Or is this now doorless in an entryway? What did I just do? <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. Um, oh man, we get beautiful night skies here, don't we? So beautiful. The birds flies around all day long. I want to shoot it down. Shoot down. Um, I don't have any options for anything. I clicked remodel house into entryway. Okay then. Um, what do we want to do next? Don't think I'd want a storage room. That's off the list. Armory would be cool. I think we only get three choices. So armory. Alchemy lab. Hmm. Either greenhouse or bedrooms. I want a tower too, so I can look out. And Alchemy Lab's one that does a tower. So maybe. Oh, we only get one wing addition per thing. So, armory for the east wing. Yes. North wing's either alchemy, storage, or trophy. We'll get the alchemy. And the west wing's either bedroom, enchanting, or greenhouse. Did someone just cough or something? Getting a manly voice, Lydia. Hmm. I want the bedroom just because it'd be, you know, it's a house. You need a bedroom. But at the same time, I want the greenhouse because it'd be cool. Hmm. Because I could put beds in other places. I want the greenhouse. I want the greenhouse. We're going to do those three. That's what it's going to be, and that's how it's going to happen. I guess... Oh, I guess I can only work on one at a time. Okay, so... That's how that'll work. I guess. So let's see what it's trying to do here. It's trying to just make a small little section there. I guess it's not going to be big, but I guess it doesn't need to be because it's a greenhouse. And that's how that's going to be, Lydia. Is there flowers over here? Yes, there are. Beautiful flowers for me to harvest all day long. Hooray! I did not mean to do that. I meant to do that. That is so cool. You see everything. Oh, I see it all better now! Not really. <laughs> this is cool. Vampire house and... Oh. Iron ore right near my home. Man. If only bandits spawned here every five minutes, I wouldn't need to go anywhere. I could just live here forever. Just level up my skills on bandits, iron ore veins, and plants. Two iron ore veins, ladies and gentlemen. That is fantastic. That is beyond fantastic. That is fantastic. Yes, I just made that up. Thank you very much. Fantastic. It is so fantastic. It is stastic. Bombastic. My Mr. Bombastic. Very fantastic. 
It's made of plastic? No? Okay. Um, wow. This place is amazing. I am liking it more and more. It doesn't have like a lakefront view or anything, which would be really cool. But, you know, if we found some place that had like a lakefront view, I'd turn it into my leisurely um, little summer home. Because I want that. That would be cool to me. To have like some place on top of a cliffside overlooking a big beautiful pond. Or like literally right on a pond. That'd be really cool. But this is going to be our functional awesome home. And that is how it will be for now. And it will stay that way for a while. I'm going to get this hawk. I'm going to get it. I'm going to kill it. But it's never going to come by the hawk again. What's right Get off my lawn, you stupid thing. I'll seduce you. I'll seduce you with vampiric powers. Uh. What? I actually hit it. I actually hit it. I hit a hawk. Out of the sky. Oh, it's okay. I'm Jeff from The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Look at my limp-wristed hand. <laughs> I hit a hawk out of the sky with a vampire power. Are you are you serious right now? Are you, are you serious right now? And it duplicated it and let the other one fly away. And yes, I just threw it into the water. That was so cool. Oh, no, That was cool. And it's like daytime. Moose. Rhoda. Anyway. Thank you guys very much for watching. What is this? Hold on. Hold that thought. It's about to say goodbye to you, but I will not just yet because I saw clay and plant. <laughs> Anyways, this does have a lake view. It's just a little bit of a trek down to the riverside. So I guess that's okay. I mean, if I had a tower that I could look out from, I could probably see that view. Let me see, actually. I want to make sure. I wonder if my face looks weird because of being a vampire. I am so interested in that. Hold on, let me equip my mask. Let's put the mask back on. <laughs> We're a little creepy. Just a little. Um... Yeah, about that. So apparently that lady at the sawmill is a vampire too because of her dark eyes, her bright eyes, whatever. Their eyes, they're creepy, Lydia. Can I bite? Hmm. 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 We're going to have to think about that one. I wonder if I could turn her into a vampire by biting her. That'd be really cool. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.